Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and keeping safe and enjoying our latest Realme products. Do let us know which of the latest Realme offerings is your favourite. The process of assembling a smartphone is quite mesmerising and fascinating. So I thought let's show it to everyone. And this will also show that why we are still the number one quality smartphone brand in India. The Realme X7 Pro 5G comes with a glass back and two beautiful colours the mystic black and the fantasy. Fantasy is my personal favourite, so we will be using this for the teardown. First, we'll remove the SIM tray. The X7 Pro 5G supports 5G plus 5G dual SIM dual standby. Next, we're going to use a heating plate to loosen the back of the phone as it is tightly packed. And now I'm going to put the smartphone on it for some time. Also, the R&D of the X7 Pro 5G took about 8 months, multiple proof checks and extensive external and internal research to close down on the colour. We did additional 400 hours of colour tuning and then finalised the finishing of the smartphone. The front and the back of the smartphone is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5, protecting it against any faults. Now we're going to open the back panel. We have to do this carefully as it's a very sensitive process and we do not want to damage the back. Here, you can see how the back looks like. This is the leading camera setup. Here is the massive yet petite battery. Now we will unscrew the device. To see the components further, let's now remove the middle frame. Now we have removed the middle frame. The next and a very important step is to disconnect the battery. This we are doing to avoid any kind of short circuit during the whole process. We will also disconnect the FPCs which basically connect the motherboard which is at the top to the rest of the smartphone, the different components of the smartphone. Next is our favourite part, the camera. Here we are using a leading quad camera setup, a 64 megapixel setup. First, I'm going to remove these one by one. So this is a Sony IMX 686 64 megapixel lens which gives you spectacular pictures. We have used an advanced multi-frame algorithm for this that captures more scenes and ultimately gives you brilliant pictures. We have also introduced the Pro Mode and Super Nightscape 4.0 to give you more picture options. And of course with it is the 8 megapixel uh, 119 degrees ultra wide angle lens the 2 megapixel macro lens and the depth sensor. Now let's move on to the front camera and remove it. So this is our 32 megapixel front camera which is the absolute best in the segment. The X7 Pro 5G also has NFC which enables wireless transactions. It also has a lot of wireless connections like GPS, Wi-Fi, your SIM and of course the motherboard which is here on the top of the smartphone. The motherboard is a key component in a smartphone which holds the processor and the proximity sensor and we can call it the backbone of the smartphone. So I'm going to now just remove it. So this is the motherboard which holds our chipset. The X7 Pro 5G is equipped with MediaTek Dimensity 1000 Plus which is a 7 nanometer processor and it has powerful adaptive display. Along with that it has AAA gaming performance and 
adaptive camera support as well to ensure great performance on your chipset and of course it also supports dual 5G. I want to take a moment here and talk about the current 5G scenario in India. While I agree that the infrastructure isn't ready, I disagree with the fact that the technology is redundant. In fact, more and more users are wanting to adapt such technology. In 2021, we want to democratize 5G in different price segments. And don't worry, we will not be compromising on the quality of the smartphone by bringing it to the masses. In fact, let me assure you that we give utmost importance to the quality of every component of a smartphone. In fact, 60% of all the components of our smartphones are manufactured here in India itself. Now coming back to the phone. After the processor, I would also like to highlight the cooling system. Here we are using an e-sport grading VC liquid cooling system which has 100% coverage of the core heat source. That avoids your phone to become a heating pad in any circumstances, even while doing excessive usage. The Realme X7 Pro 5G comes with dual mic noise cancellation with one at the top and one at the bottom for smoother voiceover calls. Now let's move to the bottom frame. Here we have the sub boat, the haptic motor, as well as the speaker. Now first we'll remove the sub board. Now here this consists of the antenna connections, the fingerprint module as well as your connection to the SIM tray. Now we're going to first remove this. And we're going to place it here. Next, we will remove the speakers. So there are two speakers again, one at the bottom, one at the top. The top one acts as a receiver when you're taking calls and otherwise as a speaker. And this is the bottom one, which has also support for Dolby Atmos and high-risk certification for a great audio experience. Now we will move on to the haptic motor. We are going to remove this. And the haptic motor is responsible for great touch vibrations or whenever your phone is vibrating for a great touch experience on your smartphone. This is how it looks. Next, we will remove this FPC that actually connects from the motherboard to the charging port. Now let's move on to the battery. The Realme X7 Pro 5G has a massive 4500 mAh battery with 65 watt super dart charging which is so fast that it charges the entire phone to 100% in just 35 minutes and of course with this battery we've done a lot of system optimization as well as of course our own super power saving mode which ensures that with just 5% battery you can do 90 minutes of texting stunning isn't it well so now let's move on to removing the battery so this is how the dual 3C 4500 mAh battery looks like. And as you can clearly see, made in India. And of course, it also supports reverse charging. We have not included the 3.5mm headphone jack with the X7 Pro 5G. Well, as you know that this is a super slim and light phone. To ensure this design or to get that design, we had to remove the 3.5mm jack. But don't worry, we have given the Type-C to 3.5mm jack converter within the box for your usage. And of course, you can use our TWS as well. Here we have a 6.5-inch Super AMOLED display where we're using a COP packaging process instead of a COF, which makes it thinner by 10%. Uh, not just that, we also have a very high refresh rate of 120Hz which gives us twice more the information than a standard 60Hz display. It also has an oleophobic coating that makes the display splash and smudge proof. In addition to that, it has brightness up to 800 nits and regional peak brightness up to 1200 nits, ensuring that you get brighter displays even under sunlight and harsh conditions. So this is how the Realme X7 Pro 5G looks on the inside. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a great time and are looking forward to getting your hands on the Realme smartphones, if not done yet. Let's now reassemble the X7 Pro 5G. Now that we have reassembled the phone, let's turn it on. As you can see here, the phone's turned on and working absolutely fine. Let me know which phone or other Realme product you would want us to dismantle. Leave your comments below. Now to end this video on a great note. We will be doing a giveaway of two Realme smartphones from the Realme X7 series. All you have to do is retweet this video and tell us which is your favorite feature. Thank you. Realme. Dare to leap.